Hello everyone, this is Skarzig, and welcome back to another viewer replay review. Today's replay comes to us from MMF, and his opponent, surprisingly enough, in this replay is Godless Soul, someone who had actually submitted a replay for us to review uh, last week, I think it was. So this is a pretty exciting to see Godless Soul now on the other end of the spectrum. And another interesting thing I noticed right away from this replay is that MMF is actually in the gold division, and Godless Soul has actually made it to the diamond division, so I'm really excited to see what decks these two players have in store for us today. Already in the starting hand, we can see Mechazor pieces coming down. Uh, so we'll get the replay started up here. Uh, he, since Godless Soul is playing Starhorn, I'm curious to see if this might actually be a Mechazor mirror match. So uh, looking forward to this for sure. So, uh, moving forward, MMF is just going to keep the Helm of Mechazor, decides to hold on to the Sand Howler and the Primus Shieldmaster, holds on to his whole hand. Um, when playing a Mechazor deck, I think it's standard practice to uh, hard mulligan for Mechazor pieces. Oh man, so it is the Mirror Match. Here we go. This, this should be pretty exciting then. Um, so right off the bat, Godless Soul is going to have a bit of an advantage here playing the Cannon of Mechazor. Fortunately, MMF does have the Siphon Energy for it. Opens up with the Sword. That's really good here. I'm expecting the uh, Scion's First Wish to come down onto the Sword of Mechazor as well. Ooh, Scion's First Wish coming down onto the Helm of Mechazor. So that he's able to get some damage in and the Helm lives. That's actually pretty smart. And he's also blocking off that mana. Very, very smart play by MMF there. We get the Flash Mechanter War Beast. This uh, usually is a pretty good value play, but uh, definitely in this situation, I think it's a bit desperate. He moves the uh, Cannon of Mechazor up into the corner instead of possibly pressing towards this mana tile. But uh, leaving it up here in the corner allows him to summon other Cannons of Mechazor near this point. Primus Shieldmaster coming down. This is going to be a really big tempo swing in MMF's favor, looks like. If Godless Soul can uh, get out a few more Mechazor pieces, he can put this game back in his favor. Oh man, so uh, my theory was right. He has the Cannon of Mechazor near that corner so that he's able to play more ranged units away from the fight. Unfortunately, MMF has two more Siphon Energies available. Helm of Mechazor coming down for Godless Soul. He's now up to three Mechazor pieces. Wings of Mechazor going to steal that mana. That's always a very nice play. Because the Wings of Mechazor has airdrop, you're able to play it on any space on the field. And so now MMF is also at three Mechazor pieces. Both players are getting very, very close here. Godless Soul has the uh, card advantage for his hand. While MMF has a board advantage here with more units developed. So we'll see how this goes. At this particular time, yeah, the Cannon of Mechazor can come down, trade it to the Primus Shieldmaster. Godless Soul is able to step around and take out the Iron Dervish if that uh, is possible. Yep, so that is going to be his play. He just needs to find two more mechs. Uh, MMF has used all three Siphon Energy, so a third Cannon of Mechazor coming down would be a really good bonus for him to start getting that range damage. And full Mechazor built from Godless Soul here. The only way that Vitruvian's going to be able to deal with that is um, Ephemeral Shroud, or he might even be running a Crossbones. We'll see here. And MMF gets his Mechazor built as well. Alright, so this is definitely the showdown of the century. This is the first time I've seen uh, a live Mechazor mirror, as well as Mechazor being built on both sides. Because MMF does have the HP lead, however, he doesn't need to worry about uh, Mechazor putting him on too much of a timer. Looking at the board state here, 
we've got uh, MMF with his cannon mechazor and his standard mechazor as well. So that's 10 damage worth of ranged. Looks like the two mechazors are just going to trade into each other. I think that because he's behind on board, that's definitely the smart move from Godless Soul. And he actually brings the Mechanter Warbeast down and doesn't attack with it. He's using it just to fend off his opponent. MMF does still have the Cannon of Mechazor up and ready. So we'll see exactly how this goes down. He's going to need to summon his units defensively. Warren's sister Lakian's going to keep the Mechanter Warbeast off of his face, hopefully. Siphon Energy coming down on the uh, Mechanter War Beast, so it's not going to have Frenzy, but in this particular situation where MMF doesn't have a lot of units on the board, the Frenzy isn't too much of a big deal because the um, Mechanter War Beast is still able to trade. Godless Soul is going to need to find some way to deal with the uh, Cannon of Mechazor because that is going to put him on a timer. Fractal Replication coming down. This is a pretty interesting card to see in this deck. Unfortunately, because the Mechanter War Beast was dispelled, the copies that he created aren't going to have Rush. So those copies aren't going to be able to move right away. Ooh, Grincher actually pulls the Cyclone Mask. So now MMF's able to back off, and he's got two ranged units uh, working for him here. This is very huge. And it is such a shame that these uh, three Mechanter War Beasts aren't going to be able to do much. If he can possibly get his hand on another one, because he'll have most likely at least two more in his deck. Actually, let me see, he flashed War Beast earlier in the game. Um, so he'll have one more War Beast in that deck, hopefully. He might be able to close the distance and take off a charge of that uh, Cyclone Mask, or possibly take out the Cannon of Mechazor. Magmar is a faction that historically has trouble dealing with artifacts. They don't have a lot of pings, but um, they do tend to run Blood Tier Alchemist to combo with their Egg Morphs. And they can usually get by using those along with uh, Mechanter War Beasts and whatnot for some out of hand damage to kill those artifacts. Um, it's just that since Godless Soul is running a Mechazor variant, it's very unlikely that he's going to be running the same type of tools that a standard Magmar deck would have. So MMF is definitely pulling ahead here. Um, Magmar, in general, struggles versus ranged units. So I think that it's just a matter of time before Godless Soul gets uh, put out since he is on a timer versus essentially three ranged units. He might not be able to close the gap in time. He's on the complete opposite side of the board. We'll see how he manages to fix this. Seeking Eye coming down. Since both players have already built and have their Mechazors killed, he doesn't need to worry about drawing his opponent any more mechs. The uh, Mechazor building is moot at this point. Both players are going to be relying on their alternate win conditions, which is the hallmark of a good Mechazor deck, is to make sure you build in an alternate win condition if your Mechazor isn't able to close out the match or if it's dealt with in some way. The uh, double natural selection coming down to take out the Wings of Mechazor and the Cannon of Mechazor. What would have been a little bit better here, I think, was to step up, kill the Wings of Mechazor with his General, and then the Natural Selections would take out the Cannons of Mechazor. <laughs> Another Grincher coming down. Uh, MMF getting the Arclight Regalia. This is, uh, these are probably, that's probably the one of the, two of the best Grincher pulls that you can get when it comes to artifacts because reducing their costs by two as well makes the Arclight Regalia and the Cyclone Mask extremely efficient. So right now MMF does have six damage on board. Grincher staring him in the face. 
and uh, he'll have one more turn to uh, do three, well, four pings of damage, possibly because of the Arclight Regalia now, and take out the Cannon of Megasaur. So it's definitely looking like it is uh, over. MMF also has the Dark Nemesis coming down. So we can see here that MMF has done a really good job of building alternate win conditions into this Mechasaur deck. And fortunately for him as well, those Siphon Energies were really well timed on the draw, and he was able to complete his Mechazor at the same time, well, right immediately as Godless Soul completed his, so that he was able to force him to make that trade with the Mechazor. Godless Soul does have a full hand, though. Earth Sphere comes down. He is not giving up. The Dark Nemesis is going to deal 4 damage, Xeric Sarstrider is another 4, and the Cannon of Megazor is 2. So that is still going to be lethal, unfortunately. Hmm. Alright, very well played. I was excited to see the Megazor mirror. I kind of had a feeling, once I saw that Helm of Megazor in his uh, MMF starting hand, and I saw that Godless Soul was playing Starhorn, which is typically the uh, Magmar Mechazor General. Um, one thing I would say with that match is Godless Soul's early play with the Flash War Beast might have been a bit premature. Um, it was definitely a good way to clear out the uh, Sword of Mechazor and take out that Helm of Mechazor, but at the same time, I feel as though he could have just killed the Helm of Mechazor with his general, backed off, and developed something in a more defensive position so the Sword of Mechazor wouldn't be able to get its Frenzy bonus off. But um, that's just a small play. It really depends. Sometimes early decisions like that can really uh, screw you over in the later game because if he still had that uh, Mechanter War Beast available for a bit later on in the game, he might have been able to get some board clear and bring the fight to MMF, but a uh, very, very good match. Grinchier getting some epic pulls, as always. And uh, Mechazor Mirror, very exciting to see. Thank you for sharing MMF, and thank you for tuning in to watch this replay review today. Uh, you have a good one. I'll see you next time.